Was there one person I could play here already? Did you kiss? Uh, yes. A sweet shining sun. You shan't turn Current deck strength: twelve out of twenty-four. Sit, drink. Oh, we got a cool in here. Hold on. Maybe we'll check out the place first. Thank you. Thank you. It's a fancy inn. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you all so much. Where are my manners? I have none. <coughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I don't think we can use this Galaga deck yet. A sweet shack. Wipe your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Mm, what are you serving up today? Do I still want to buy the cordials and stuff? Because I think we're getting to the end of all the crafting, but I can- pff, I mean, whatever. Let's just buy it. Redanian herbal. Although, we don't have that much money right now. I feel like I've said this exact thing like an hour ago, but it's true. Especially because we want to renovate our house and maybe craft the Grandmaster armor and all that. I know you're busy, but round of Gwent. Alrighty. Can we take a look at our Skellige deck? Oh, it's all... It's all purple and stuff. Croc and Crate. I thought the leader was supposed to be Bran. Oh, we have two. Units only lose half their strength in bad weather conditions. No one can replace Bran, though they're sure to try. Croc and Crate. A king's gotta be wise, a king's gotta command respect, a king's gotta have stones. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Oh, this ability seems kind of interesting. Okay, we'll go with that. It's kind of funny that Croc on Crate is a leader here, even though currently the actual leader of Skellige is... Ceres. Maybe later on we can get a leader card with her, or maybe Hjalmar. Who knows? Or maybe even Svanrige, although that's kind of hard to imagine. I guess we always want this stuff here. Easy pickings. Marjoram. Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards on the same row. Oh, it's like a little mushroom. What is this? Eat enough of them and the world will never be the same. Okay. Berserkers. Do we have any of that? Maybe we'll have a quick scroll through everything first. See, these are the stuff we usually see. Hjalmar. Elf is probably a good bet. Ermian. Man Man Lugos, a 6, but no effects. Blue Boy Lugos, 6, no effects. Cladon Crate Warrior. Tight Bond, next to a card with the same name to double strength. Hmm, well this guy's actually better than these guys then, because at least they have Tight Bond. And we have three of them. War Longship. Tight Bond again. Okay. It's kind of a shame because these are much more generic than these guys. But then these guys don't have any sort of special effect. Clan Brockvar Archer, 6, again, no effect. This is a close combat card, this is a siege card. Zvanrige, 4. Berserker, 1. Transforms into a bear when a Marjoram card is on its row. Oh, yeah, that's right. But we only have one, huh? But I guess in total we can have three? What happens when we transform anyway? Does the number change a lot? We can give it a try. Clan Total Rock Armorsmith, nothing. Clan Heime Scald, nothing. Oh, what's Ermian's ability here? It's got the same mushroom. Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards on the same row. Oh! Isn't that the same effect then? Except it's even better because it's not a standalone card. Oh, I didn't even use that card yet. We have two of these. Okay, well, we only have one Berserker right now, so maybe I'll just have Ermian and call it a day for now. Where was I? Holger Blackhand, four. 
Donor and Hindar four, Udorik four, Zvonriga, the Armor Smith. My God, I almost forgot how many names we had to learn while we were on Skellige. Light Long Ship four with Muster. Not necessarily a bad option, huh? Because Muster, Muster is better than Type Bond, I think. Because for Type Bond to work, you need to actually have them in your hand already to begin with. We can do that. Clan Drummond Shield Maiden. Tight Bond. I think we have enough Tight Bond cards. Burna Bran. Scale again must have a strong king, no matter what it takes. Medic? Two Medic? I feel like we have better Medics, but... You know what? In the spirit of Skellige cards, why not? Young Berserker. Want some? <laughs> oh, but this one also transforms. Okay. Oh, hold on. Transforms when this card is active, but that effect only affects one row. Oh, okay. So this one is a ranged combat card, but this one's a close combat. So if we had both of them and we wanted to activate both of them, then we would need to include one more Marjoram card in here. Hmm. Okay, well, Yennefer, Triss, Dragon, easy pickings. Although, for a Skellige deck, I would really like to use more Skellige cards. It's just that we don't have much right now. Scorch, Commander's Horn, Decoy, one of each, why not? Weather cards? What's the specialty of this deck anyway? Two random cards from the graveyard are placed on the battlefield at the start of the third round. Oh, that kind of goes exactly against my leader ability, huh? Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. So really, if I want to use this in conjunction with the special ability, then I can only do it in the second round, right? Unless if I want to use it strategically somehow. Hmm. Ogeared? Well, why not? Gondro Din would probably be a good bet, huh? Nice bit of mustering. And then we got 27 already. Do we want to add more? I don't really feel that confident in the strength of this deck yet, though. We only have three special cards. So, total unit card strength, 141, hero card 7. In comparison to my Northern Realms deck, 7 out of 10, 177, hero cards 8. How about we sit on this deck for a little bit more, and we'll try it out next time. Yeah, especially if we can get more Berserker cards, then that would be really nice. Monsters. Am I gonna run into anybody with a Skellige deck? That would be nice. Decoy, Commander's Horn, Gondro, Dim, Sigismund, Dijkstra, Blue Stripes, Krinfrid, Olgeard, Yennefer, Catapult, Estrat, Tyson. Um, Maybe... You are a monster, so do you have spies? Maybe not. So maybe Decoy is not as important for me here. Blue Stripes? Ballista? Okay. Not bad. I <laughs> got back blue stripes. That's okay. Maybe we'll maybe we'll come across it again later on. Cool. Yeah, you and your muster. Let's play Gondro Dim first. Fourteen right off the bat. That's really not so bad at all. Ericus. Although for the monster. The monster deck? I feel like if you don't have the Biting Frost, then you should probably just give up the first round. <laughs> Blue Stripes! That's pretty good. What's the other card I got? Another Catapult? Old Geared? 15 at 14. They passed already. Oh, they passed already. But I have a Medic. That's right, I have a Medic. So I should pretty much freely try to use this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, frick! I was still thinking about that Skellige leader effect, where the graveyard cards could go back to our deck, and I was thinking we could get back onto them that way. But no, that's not the deck we're using right now. Can't do that. Okay. Deekstra stays over there. I got a Siege card. Um, for my commander's horn, I probably want to use it on the siege card, right? 
Ogiered, I can probably team it up with the blue stripes. Uh, what do I do first? I won one round already, so I pretty much just have to go all out here. I guess I'll try blue stripes. Commander's horn on Beekstra? Okay. Eight and eight. And eight. Necker. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> look, it's the photo shoot. All assembling. 20 to 16. I can put down all geared. 24 to 20. Karen, Which thankfully isn't affected by... What? Oh, it also has a morale boost. Okay. Um... I can let you win. You only have three cards, so... Even if I let you win here, you're gonna lose next round. You're probably gonna lose next round, right? Oh! He's doing the same thing. Oh, that's not good, because if he has a spy... If he has a spy, then that's gonna mean he has two more cards next round. In comparison to my seven. Ooh, suddenly I don't feel so good anymore. Maybe we should just finish this round off. Yeah. Okay, Esther Tyson. Okay then, Esther Tyson. 26, 26. Vampire Bruxa. Oh, that was a really good card to draw out because now if I pass, that's gonna be a lot better chances for me next round. Oh, are you kidding me? He's got two spies. Dang. But you know what? I can get back Dijkstra. But now they have four cards. That's a little bit scary. Okay. Earth Elemental. Yennefer, could you please bring back... Dijkstra. Dragon Decoy. Oh, if only I could get back the elf with Decoy. Because then I could decoy Yennefer back, but I can't do that. So decoy is not really useful in the last round here, right? I don't think I can use it in any way. Okay. 22 to 7. Well, no need to think too much because it's the last round, so... Should I use a dragon now? Save it up for a little bit first? Oh, okay, I think we got this. Kind of narrowly, but... That was an interesting round. A little bit of variation here. Actually gave me a tad bit of a challenge. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. Thank you for the match. Okay. 100 crowns. Thank you, thank you. Drake Bondu. What is that? I don't remember that at all. Should I go look at it right now? These people are giving me Skellige cards, even though nobody seems to have a Skellige deck. Hear ye now the tale of the heroic deeds of Clan Oncrate. Oh, like a jester at the party? I don't remember you, I'm sorry. Oh, he's the same as Dandelion. Commander's Horn. Okay, cool. Oh, wow, you got stuff down here. Oh, you were hiding the good stuff on me, lady. But I found it, thankfully. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. This is the way to get outside. Now we have 13 out of 24 deck strength. Is that necessarily cards? I'm not sure. And the next thing we can do is... 
We were gonna go to the docks so we could fight the last guy, the maestro. How about we do that then? And in the meantime, I guess we can walk around the place too, since this place is so gigantic. And then maybe after that, we can go back to Corvo Bianco, since that is ready now. Um, yeah. Or I guess we can just go to the grand place here and fast travel to the docks. <laughs> is it really proper for a lady to be lying in a public location like that? Get them, boy. Fancy people it's everywhere. Should turn their attentions to the Vantagils. I am not even going the way of the fast travel marker. <laughs> there was a time the knights would simply drive off mm. that sword. It is right and fitting, which that the Duquesa summoned in the UK. It's a very nice place here. Life. Even the quests, it makes everything feel like we're on vacation and we're just sort of chilling out. Which is nice, because we've already saved the world. There's not really such a gigantic threat looming all the time. Although the vampire thing is concerning, and we should be figuring it out as soon as possible. Beauclair Port. This maestro figure. I can see you slurping me with your eyes, white one. Oh, we can go back to that guy now, too. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. Hopefully he's still here. He could have ran away and just been off with the balls, but let's believe in him. How much for your wolf? A lot. And triple for you. I'll take him from the left. Wanna go fish in the channel? Look who's that that's that's white waffle. The wizard. John, they say he's you know, slapped to them all down. <laughs> Still Colossus and Mancom. And when she son? passes each one, well, she passes goes. Ah. Tucson must be one of those places where alcohol is cheaper than water. <laughs> Drunken master. You either drink with us or you're against us. Do you not have a thing for me? This where I find the boxer they call the Maestro. Maestro, champ, the undefeated. Folk call him many things. You are the Witcher who dropped the three lesser champions? I am. Come to fight the Maestro, but seems to me he's indisposed. Alcohol is the Maestro's remedy for his crippling shyness. He's a delicate man, you see? He'd never so much as hit a pillow while sober. Fighting sobers like dancing to silence. Yeah. Forget fighting. Sure you can stand? You're blind drunk. Not sure bum bumping business. Ah, you cheat, you chat while my vodka's gone flat. Will you fight, yay or nay? Maybe this guy knows Chinese martial arts, drunken boxing. Let's go. I challenge you. Hold on. Whoa. I'm a man of principle. I keep to a code. I don't tinkle where I eat, and I don't fight folk who don't drink. Meaning? Meaning you're to drink, or hey diddle diddle out of here. No worries. I've done it plenty before. Sheesh. Fine. Mesdames, Messieurs, the Maestro will perform at last. You better not try to poison me or anything, though. Let's do this. Oh, this ain't so bad. Well parried that. Ooh. The repost, yes. Let's not get greedy here. Dude, why is that guy just standing there like that? Step away! The guy behind me! Ooh, I gotta not get greedy. Oh, thank you, Undying. 
This guy's pattern is throwing me off a little bit. Maybe it's the drunkenness. Oh. Pathetic. It's okay if we back away a little bit. Hey, well past that. Under repost, yes. We're fine. We're fine. I feel like I'm getting drunker and drunker though. Those effects. When I chop your beauty. Ah, scamp. You beat me. It's not happened in years. Your fists, they're glorious. Thank you. Thanks. I'm gobsmacked, I am. I have to drink it off. Oof, good fight. To speak through, I'm pleased you stripped me of the title. I shall have more time to pursue my chief interest now. <laughs> Witcher Geralt of Rivia is hereby crowned Fisticuffs champion of Beauclair. Bravo! Pretty sure I'm fist-fighting champion of the entire universe now. Behold, your trophy. Oh! A life without liquors like loving without licking. <laughs> you finally got a trophy. Great time for us to be going back to Corvo Bianco too. But before we do that, the granite guy, where are you? Oh, <laughs> which one? Which one are you? This one. This one. All right, right next to the Grand's place. Farewell and at you till you Farewell. Ah, it's a very busy marketplace here. We should probably try going back to the armor dying guy sometime though, because I do want to try out some other colors and maybe dye the whole set if we can. <laughs> Was a vast travel thing over here? Greta. Ooh, yes, it was. I'm no good. That's not what I asked. Is Novigrad bigger or Beauclair bigger? Uh, hard to tell, but no, I think Novigrad is a little bit bigger. It's more diverse too. Here it's more... It's a little bit more homogenous. And a lot less fighting because everyone's considered a toussaint But in Novigrad, there were dwarves and elves and a whole bunch of other money? things. A smashing place we have, eh? Wait. Wine by the barrel. This is the bank. Do you know the colors I would see on the Duchess? We're not in the right place, are we? Red, Do we have to wrap back around? The butcher of Bluffigan calls to the safe parent. How the mighty fool. Yes, in this alleyway here. Well, we don't hear anything today. You're here. With no woman. Huh. Your house is pretty nice, isn't it? I'm back. Shh, shh, not so loud. You wake her. She want another go. Wake who? Rosalinda? <laughs> Louisa, her cousin. <laughs> she's, she's voracious. Got an inexhaustible appetite. <laughs> I'm tapped out. Oh my. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent? <laughs> my heart near leapt out of my chest last time. Here. You must take the testes, and Lebioda grant you strength, as I dare say you will need it. No thanks, I'll be returning it. I'm plenty young enough. <laughs> I don't need AIDS. AIDS as in helping AIDS, okay? Like assisting tools. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm my own master with a bottle in front of so to It's no disaster so like a fountain of bottom leaning to the song to the <laughs> Life is a right strawberry There's a lot of very good singers and bards around here It's a lovely dream A dream that adorns all as if in rich whipped cream In Tucson it is easier to find a bard without a lute than a bard who is sober I can tell well, I'm really glad to see that this guy didn't try to rip me off or escape with the um, balls or anything. He fulfilled his promises. And maybe this is for the best too, because he seems to have realized that maybe this is not necessarily something he wants for the rest of his life. It's a little bit late at night right now, but I'm back. Well? Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. <laughs> oh, thank you. Tomorrow? I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, after a long day of hard work, maybe it's time for me to finally revisit Corvo Bianco again and see how my estate is doing, huh? By the way, this uh, looping music issue, I tried looking it up and I saw that somebody had the same problem as me and the way they fixed it was by advancing in the main quest. So I feel like maybe irrespective of the levels and how many quests we have for the next little bit, after we go back to Corvo Bianco, it might be a good idea just to finish off this one quest first. Look for the White Slayer. The other times, I didn't think it was too noticeable, but in Tucson here, it's been happening quite a bit, and I've been noticing like Ran music start so many times now. Kitty. Nobody's working right now because it's nighttime. By the way, we didn't go here last time, right? How are things looking down here? Wine cellar? Mm, strange. Something behind this wall, I think. Oh. What? Laboratory. Must have been an alchemist at one time. Alchemy Laboratory. Oh, perfect! This is the transmutator I was looking for, right? In the lab, you can transform mutagens taken from monsters into their basic versions. For example, you can turn a wraith mutagen into a lesser green mutagen. You can upgrade basic mutagens into their more powerful versions using the alchemy panel. If you find the right formulae, you can also change mutagens' colors. Wonderful! Uh, this is how we dismantle, but if we want to combine... Don't see a different panel, though. Do you mean I have to open my own thing and go to alchemy? Ah, it's a new way. Yes. Yes. What were we missing again? According to the skill panel, Toxic blood, deadly counter, magic sensibilities. I think I was trying to aim for deadly counter, which requires one more greater red mutagen, which means we need more red. Do we have a formula for red? Greater red mutagen? I have two regular size ones. Red mutagen? I need this winter cherry. How do I get that? At an alchemy shop, maybe? Dang, I'm always missing one little thing. Oh! Maybe if I can get a lesser red mutagen here. Werewolf mutagen? Have we really fought six different werewolves? My god. Wyvern? I guess I'll dismantle the wyvern one, because it's a little bit less rare. And now... 
Red Mutagen. Greater Red Mutagen. And we're good to go. Uh huh. Research Mutation. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents, immune to counterattacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counterattack immediately triggers a finisher. I'm guessing most human opponents are not immune to counterattacks, right? Not that we really do it that often, but this is a sign that I should be doing it more often. Weapon W Magic sensibilities? Is there a limit to how many I can have? As long as I have enough ability points and greater blue mutagens? Mm. Oh, I just realized this, but we got new slots here too. Number of research mutations necessary to unlock. Oh, okay. Um, after we research it, is that... No, we have to activate it. Only one mutation can be active at any given time. Strengthen synapses. Mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations. As it does, it unlocks additional ability slots. To see what mutation is currently active, open the mutation panel or the character panel. The strengthen synapses mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations. Yes. So does that mean that if I switch this? Right now, Deadly Counter is active. The next one is Bloodbath. Allows the use of combat and alchemy. So these ones on the side, they're like a mix of different branches. Piercing cold. I feel like I need a little bit more to understand how this works. Would it be a waste if I try to get magic sensibilities? Can they work together or... I guess we can always reassign if anything goes wrong. The strength in synapses mutation has advanced to the next level. Thanks to the strength in synapses mutation, you have an extra ability slot at your disposal. Oh wow. The color. The color of the ability you activate in the extra slot must match the color of the active mutation. As signified by the little red line beneath the box. Advanced mutations, distinguished by their yellow color, require multiple types of mutagens, but allow you to use any abilities from the combat signs or alchemy groups. Yellow color? I do have one slot now, and... hold on. So you're saying that if I have the red branch here, then the slot can only have something red in it, right? If I try to activate this one instead, then these turn blue, and I'm not able to put in, say, these in it. No, not this one, I'm already using it. Let's try using this one. No, okay. But if I change it back to red, then it would be okay. Um, so we got new slots here, but the overall stuff available hasn't changed, right? What's good? If I have red here, what's good for me? Flood of Anger is, when casting a sign, three adrenaline points if available will be consumed to upgrade the sign to the highest level. I'm pretty sure I'm not using this one right now because I didn't like it, right? Especially because it goes against Undying because it uses the adrenaline points too. Is there anything better that we can have? Razor focus? Well, this could be good in conjunction with this one, right? Because we'd be getting more adrenaline points overall. Crossbows, I don't want to upgrade it at all, pretty much. Deadly precision. We do have 10 points now, but keeping in mind that researching this tree here will also cost some ability points. Bloodbath. I don't have that many greater mutagens. I need to craft some more if I want to do that. Okay, well... 
I'll have a little bit of a think about this off screen, but for now, we're just gonna go with this. Was that the only thing here? Oh! Bombs and potions have gained an additional charge. Julius von Gabe's letter. To whomever finds this letter, my name is Julius von Gabe, and if you are reading these words, I am surely long dead. As befits one of my station and familial connections, I was sent to study at Banard, the famed school for mages, yet I was never to complete those studies. For the entire duration of my life, magic held but a weak hold over a soul ravished by a passion for organic alchemy. It was to that most wondrous of sciences I dedicated the most beautiful years of my life, and the table beside which you now most certainly stand is the fruit of those labors of love. If you are a fellow lover of alchemy, I hazard to guess you will be filled with rapture to behold my discovery. If, however, that marvelous science is unknown to you, please heed my advice, drop this letter, step away from the table, and never return. The practice of alchemy by amateurs can lead to injury and even death. If you did not drop this letter after that last paragraph, you are no stranger to alchemy. Thus, I shall now reveal to you, in a few brief words, the fundaments of the alchemy table I designed. Leaving aside all unnecessary detail, my chief discovery consisted of a formula and tools allowing for the transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of the more common sort. <laughs> we already used the table before reading the instructions. I know this sounds highly unlikely, but I have proven with utmost certainty that this is possible. The workings of this transmutation are simple. One must simply make use of the table which I designed. As an expert of the arcane art of alchemy, you certainly already know your way around such devices. If you are but an amateur, a member of the Hoi Ploi, who has by accident wandered into this abandoned place, back away, lest your ignorance do your grievous harm. You are surely asking yourself why I hid my discovery from the world, why I did not share my formula with a community of alchemists. Well. Let us say, I have forever been regarded as an eccentric, aloof. And I have always believed it is pure chance and not men themselves that determine destiny. Furthermore, I have never sired offspring and have no desire to entrust my opus to a mere acquaintance. I thus concluded, the best solution was to hide my table and trust that chance will, if my theory is correct, bring a man here who shall know how to make use of it, whom it shall delight, and to whom it will prove of great use. Whether I am right or wrong, Time will tell. Use my gift wisely and fare you well. Julius Ben Gave, Alchemist. Well, I think Chance has done pretty well here. The table has been stumbled upon by a person who will make use of it. At the same time though, I can't help but feel like an actual alchemist would feel even better finding this. Because I do do some alchemy. But I do it for a very pragmatic, practical kind of reason, as opposed to loving alchemy itself. So, eh, maybe I'm not quite the right person to be finding this, but hey, at least it will be used. Huh, I guess we just didn't notice that little area last time, when we were finding the Bruxa here. But now it seems like it's just a wine cellar. Not too much going on. And that's the way it should be. No wine though. Can we start making wine somehow? Maybe that's something I can ask my guy. Reginald figurine. Oh. Oh! It's a statue holder thing. Sure, why not? Do I want this one here though? I mean, because this one is a source of virility and all that, right? Not really related to winemaking. Hey! Oh, can I check out my new bed first? Wow, a bed of my own. <gasps> Bonuses, bed level, noble. 
Maximum vitality increased by 500 points. Can I get all of them or just one? Oh. Huh. Duration 60 minutes, that's long. Can I wake up at... Oh, I get all of them. How do I unlock this one, I wonder, for Roach? That's really cool. 5% bonus experience gain. Dang. Oh, I can put a trophy right here. My fist fighting championship trophy. Yay. Oh, again though, this place is so dark, I can hardly appreciate it. It's 9am right now, but it feels like 9pm. I can put the forged and fire sword here. But do I have other stands around the house that I can put stuff on? If I read books here, I get a bonus, right? Experience gain bonus. Cool. Good morning, Barnabas Basil. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. You mean the lab in the cellar? Saw it. Mm. So, one of the previous owners interested in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing find. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. <laughs> Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Thank you for all the laborers who are dusting off the cellar. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, BB. <laughs> Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Everything. The grounds. Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? I didn't even get to look at the grounds yet because we came in during nighttime. Everything was so dark. Roach deserves the best. You know Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. 10,000? Okay, that's cheaper than I was expecting. My roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Honestly, building a stable in two days? You are the man, BB. So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Wonderful. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seeds in two days' time. <laughs> Don't make it sound Will like I'm dead. Anything else, sir? Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, 
You might begin to consider such things as a new bed or additional armor stands or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. I thought my bed was new already. I'm really hoping we can somehow make this place a little bit brighter. It's just not very good at letting the sunlight in so far because it's... There's no windows! Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lumber into true masterpieces. You need but give the word. Fine. Order the racks. Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive is my estimation. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Do I get anything if I upgrade this to the max? Maybe an achievement? Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. Some of those pieces would look great on display here. I agree. It would lend the place a certain witch's air. Shall I order new stands at once, sir? Yes. Just please make sure they're solidly made and nicely finished. It goes without saying, sir. There is nothing worse than splendid armor upon a subpar stand. By this time tomorrow, they shall be ready to display your finest finds. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? I think the armor stands can have more than just the chest armor too, so... We should look into putting more pieces on there. But I wonder if it's possible to put crossbows on the weapon racks? Sounds like it should be. It doesn't say sword rack. Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but... Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yeah, that's not gonna happen, but sure. <laughs> yeah, sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. I thought the bed that we just slept on was new though, but okay. Can I go ask Anna Henrietta to pay for some of this? That would be really nice. Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. Don't say true that! Indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? No, I'm good, BB. You're awesome. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. We're gonna have a real place to live at home. All this food, but nobody home to eat it. I shouldn't be looting my own home, right? <laughs> the herbs? I have the enhanced Ursine armor right here. Can I put down the full set? Viper steel sword. Iris. We got a lot going on here. I want more paintings though, but we have we have so many spots for the paintings, but not many actual paintings, I don't think. Which sword of all these swords do I favor the most? Well, first of all, maybe we can put down some feline armor. Sure. Or maybe even this set, huh? The ornate robe. Just to get a reminder of what it was like to be in that wedding. Boots. Uh, I'm guessing you can put boots on it too? Can you put gauntlets? Ursine gauntlets. Feline gauntlets. Ursine. Feline. Ursine. Feline. Do I have room to put down one more set? Because I do have the Griffin set right here that I can put down. Yeah, I think we're okay for now. Oh, I have to hold a torch in my own room. This is kind of sad. Okay, the earth sign. If I take it. Oh, 
Hold on. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I had to take it back so I can put the full set on. Or a sign? There we go. All it's missing is a helmet, really. Mmm. We have three armor stands here right now. I do want to put down the ornate robe. But if it's three like that, then... Okay, sure. Feline here. I want to put down the griffin set too, though. Do I have more up here? Nope. That's the guest's bed. We can put another painting down there. No, don't loot my own home. Ornate robe. And the boots. This one didn't have pants, right? Yeah, there we go. Now it's gonna be real scary when we come out and walk around at nighttime. It's like there's three people standing right here. <laughs> the weapon rack, I will leave it alone for now. Where did you install the new weapon racks? Okay. What was that one crossbow that Croc on Crate gave me? I think it was called Death from Above? The shovel! That's a pretty memorable one, although... Positive memories, negative memories, I don't know. Ravix of Fourhorn, yeah. Where is Death from Above? Did I imagine this? <laughs> oh. Yes. Good. What is that one? Oh, Fury. Okay, we're good for now. I wish I could put down the elf ear on the trophy spot or something. <laughs> That'd be kind of amusing. Okay. Ravix a four horn sword? Only the sword? Oh, I can't put down the crossbow. Nor the shovel. Even though it says weapon rack and not sword rack. Oh, now I'm disappointed. Really? Can I put it down here? No. I can only put down the viper sword. Oh, man. That's a bummer. But I guess that's that. Why did they call it a weapon rack then? I'm sad. Have we ever tried coming out through this door? Oh! Wow, there's another room. It's a kitchen! Whoa, 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 what are you doing, Geralt? <laughs> you put it in the wrong place, but your sentiments were received. Is there a bathroom in my house? I don't know. Hello, everybody! Our knights errant? They're so heroic, we had to summon a witcher to do their work. <laughs> so now instead of insulting me, my employees are sucking up. <laughs> Alright. Good day, good day. Good day. The more you beat them, the better they are! Why is this guy just standing here eating a baguette? You were here last time, too. We got the grindstone and the armorer's table here. Oh, and what do you get for all that work? A crook in your back once you're on in here. Here's a table. Cool. And Roach? Roach gets a nice little spot here. Just you wait, buddy. The stable will be nice and pretty very soon. And then maybe we'll get another horse to accompany you or something. That would be kind of nice. You'd be both Nourish named Roach, yourself. though. <laughs> you need to 